What's up guys, Jake here with Jake Scott Herps, not to be confused with Herpes, Herpes is nasty. In this video I'm going to be showing you two new inverts that I picked up today at the Valparaiso Reptile Expo. It was a decent show, there weren't too many vendors and uh, not a lot of people there, but you know it was still fun nonetheless. So yeah, without further ado, the first uh, new addition that I got is a hap Haplopalma longipes, I believe is how you would pronounce that, if not, uh, oh well. Um, it's also called a Thai tiger or a Vietnamese tiger rump, and you can probably see why if you see its abdomen there. It kind of looks like a tiger pattern. And uh, the only difficult thing with these guys is there's not a whole lot of information about them online. Like, I've looked up a whole bunch of different names for them, and even the scientific name, there's not a lot of research, uh, you know, not a lot of, you know, care sheets about them. So I basically, what I had to do, I just kind of mimicked that of a uh, cobalt setup, because they are in the same genus as a cobalt, and... Uh, so I just kind of did that, you know, high humidity setup with a lot of moss, moist eco-earth, and a small water dish that's a bottle cap. But yeah, really cool tarantula. I can definitely see how them and the cobalts are related because it uh, definitely doesn't have the best attitude and eats like a champion, though. He's eating a cricket right now, and I think there's another one that he killed right there. But uh, yeah, really great tarantula. Definitely glad to have it. So uh, yeah. Over here we have something a little bit different. This is a... Cave, African cave dwelling spider or called a tailless whip scorpion. It's not the same thing as a whip scorpion. Don't let this little writing confuse you. This is what I got my uh, blood python in actually. And it's a pretty decent setup. You know, a little plastic container with some holes in the top. I'm kind of glad I hung on to this because I like it as a setup. But uh, really cool little guy. I don't know if you guys have seen Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. But that's like, this is what the one professor used when he was doing all the weird spells on it. And it's pretty cool. I don't know. It's not actually a spider. It's not in the arachnid family. It's like a subphylum of it or something. But uh, still pretty cool. Kind of a similar setup uh, with the moist eco earth, um, you know, some moss. And I put a little cork bark in there just for him to climb on and stuff. He's trying to get out. But um, really interesting looking things. You know, not a lot looks like that. They kind of like mantises, in my opinion. Um, they have the big kind of claws that they grab things with. They don't really. They're not like tarantulas that, you know, bite. I'm going to put the lid back on because he's definitely making a slow break. But, yeah, really cool little guy. And uh, I did throw a cricket in there. I'm not sure if he ate it. But, yeah, so those are the two inverts that I got today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a rating. It helps me out a whole lot. And if you haven't seen my other video on my other two inverts that I got, definitely go check that out because they're pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Peace.